hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to add a window media player tool in your visual basic windows form application and I have also shown you how to load start stop and pause the video in this video I will show you how to make a simple mp3 player with the help of this uh, window media player tool so let's get started first of all what I will do is I will take a list box and drag and drop into my form and I'm going to take a button to load the list once again and I will take a open file dialog to open and select all the selected files so I will drag and drop open file dialog into my form and it will go here this was the open file dialog from the last video and this is new open file dialog which is open file dialog 2 now I will change the name of this button as load playlist ok and now what I will do is I will select my open file dialog which I am going to use and I will go to the property and in here I will search for the property called multi select and make this property as true ok so just go to the property called multi select and make it true now I will just select my load playlist button and double click it and in here I will write the code but first of all I want to uh, declare some global variable so I will just go above my sub and here I will declare two arrays so I will write dim dim path paths as a string and this bracket will sh tell this string is an array so this is a string array I have declared and once again I will copy this and paste it here and instead of path I will say file name ok uh, so I have declared two string arrays and now I will go inside my button click event and I will write if my open file dialog open file dialog 2 this time dot show dialog equal to dialog result dot ok then what I will do is in here I will copy the path of the file and I will copy the file name of the selected paths so what I will do is I will copy this path and paste it here and I will say paths is equal to open file dialog 2 which is my open file dialog name dot save file names with the last letter as S so it's multiple files ok so it's names and same I will do for file names will be good when I add here s ok and once again I will copy file names is equal to open file dialog 2 dot file names with the last letter s ok now I will declare a for loop so I will write for i is equal to 0 to my file name length but first of all I need to declare it as integer so I will write as integer ok 
so two my file names uh, array dot length minus one so I will count all the file names and then what I will do is I will add this these file names to my list box so I will copy the name of my list box and I will write here dot items dot add uh, inside the bracket I will write file names and once again a bracket and I will pass this I here so what this code will do is I will it will load all the files inside the list box okay now we'll go to this uh, form again and this time I will select the list box and double click my list box so just select your list box and double click it and it will go to the list box selected index change event and in here I will copy the name of uh, my window media player tool which is AX the window media player one and paste it here dot URL is equal to paths and in the bracket I will write list box name list box one dot selected index okay so this is my code and what this will do is it will play whatever uh, song I will select from the list box so let's see how it works this is the whole code for the mp3 player so first of all I want to load the playlist so I will click this button and let me search for the music somewhere here yeah. and playlists no I don't have it here and I have some playlist here so I will select three songs from here I can multi select these songs because I have checked the option in the open file dialog that I can multi select these songs and I, when I click OK it will load all the uh, songs in here and when I click this uh, button here or when I click this uh, first path it will open the first playlist and you will observe that nothing is happening because I think I have done a little mistake instead of this path this path should be here and this file name should be here so in the file name variable I'm going to take the names of the file which will give which is given by this variable and file name path is given by this variable so I have exchanged these two things so just correct uh, this declaration and once again I will run the program and I will load my playlist I can multi select it from here and now I can see the names of my playlist and when I click the first song it will play the first song so I have muted this uh, song and when I select second song it will play the second song and when I select the third song it will play the third song so in this way you can make a simple mp3 player with the help of your window media player tool I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now